I see Norm like subtly adding stuff and then trying to hide it from me. Oh, Norm! Go, go, Dude! Go, go. Better one, better one. Them jokers are straight munching out there. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, we have the old Academy. And if we're at Academy, we're gonna be doing two things. We're gonna be going in here looking at some lures, buying them, and then going fishing with them. To help me with that today, we got the main man, Woo! Fishing with Norm, out of retirement, officially back on YouTube. So make sure you guys go yes, check sir. out his channel, see his perspective of today's video. But, Norm, I've got a very special gift. Well, it's not really a gift, it was a gift to me. It was my birthday a few days ago, guys. I don't know if you guys know that or not. So, oh, happy birthday, Lojo. Ah! But for my birthday, my in-laws bought me something. That's right. Happy birthday, Lojo. Here's a, an Academy gift card. I have no idea how much money is on here. I think, I'm thinking $50, but I could be completely wrong about that, Norm. We might only have like $10 on here. I guess it just depends on how much my in-laws actually like me, but let's just assume there's $50 on here. All right, Norm, so here's the deal, man. This is just kind of what I'm thinking. You let me know what you're thinking, but I think we should go in here, find out how much money's on this card, first of all. But if it is, in fact, $50, I could take $25, Norm could take $25. We could just kind of buy whatever lures we feel like are gonna work today. I mean, it's bluebird sky, it's post spawn, really hot. And uh, maybe go out and try to fish with those lures. What do you think about that? I'm down for that. And maybe yeah. like, you know, whoever catches the most fish, or the biggest fish, you know, gets a prize or, you know, something like that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's hop in here and uh, see what we can find. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, it's a lighter. It's a lighter, I think. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Look how small that thing is. <laughs> we should fish with it. We're going to need a basket for this one, kids. Warm welcome to uh, my hometown academy. We are in the thick of it, but pretty much like three or four aisles this is right wild. here. My academy is way, like, has way less stuff in here. Really? Yeah. That makes no sense because you live in Florida, too. Like, yeah. you guys should be stocked. Where should we start? You want to just go down this one? I guess so. Norm, we're gonna have to be very economical here because remember we are on a budget so I means we're gonna have to have some soft plastic that's just the bottom line so I'm trying to look for like the cheapest something that might work I wanted to get some finesse worms but for some reason the finesse worms are like four dollars and some of these other lures over here are like 219 I don't want to spoil my whole budget on one thing of finesse worms come on guys Oh yes, I think I found what I want for the first lure. I found, check this, look at this color. Watermelon candy. That is so good, it's like natural, but there's that candy, like the purple in there. And that one's only $3. We're not gonna do tax, let's just call that $3, but I think that's gonna be my first selection right there. You've already got stuff in your basket over here, homie. No, what's, I don't. What's, <laughs> what's going on? I think I know what this is. Is this a lemon pepper lizard? Bro, it is. Yep, there you go, six inch lizard, chartreuse, lemon pepper. You know, that might actually catch them. I'm a little little jealous over here that you found that before I did, but okay, we're all right. I know the place we're going is a little dirty, so we're in the straight up like loud lure section. What you looking at over here? Oh, oh let's see what was moving. That's what Norm's looking at. I gotta keep an eye on you, make sure I know what you, what's going on here. I'm thinking of chatterbait, dude. I mean, it, I'll go ahead and tell you the pond that we're going to, it's pretty dirty. You know, that's what I was told anyways, so. You know, anything that's loud and moving. I think I'm gonna go with the old straight up Z-Man. It's a classic. And this color though is what's gonna be the juice. Green pumpkin and black, but it, to me it just kinda looks like a, like a bluegill almost. You know, it's got like that real natural bluegill look. So that is $4, so we are up to $7, and we've already got two lures that could catch them in our basket. I think I'm gonna roll with a jig too, guys. I don't, I don't know if you know, but on this channel, I rarely use jigs. It's not because jigs don't work, it's because I'm just not totally confident in throwing jigs, but this is just a straight up black Strike King Bitsy flip. So it's a flipping jig, but it'll work just fine. I don't know, we're gonna have to find a trailer for this thing though, and the, and the chatterbait. So I'm, I'm gonna have to be very careful with how I do this. How much was that? That's another $2. So let's just round up with tax and say I'm at 10 right now. I think I'm also gonna roll with a little square bill. Let me tell you something about square bills. They are freaking expensive. Like this is the cheapest one that I'm seeing over here. And this one's $6. That's gonna put me up to 16 bucks. I'm gonna have to really rein it in from here on out. But uh, little crawl pattern, Norm? Little crawl pattern you square want bill? Crawl pattern, dude, I, swear dude, every time I do. Bait, see, I like the gold colors, like the gold and the silver. You like the crawl. Well, that's because you're a, that, that's because you're a Florida guy, and yeah. you, you got the golden shiners and stuff down there. But you know, we got we got some dang craws in Alabama. So I'm up to sixteen dollar. 
I see Norm like subtly adding stuff and then trying to hide it from me. Check that out. What's he got right here? Little mini golden crank. So he was just talking about gold. Yeah, no wonder you like gold. <laughs> Guys, I'm looking for a crawl trailer that I can use for my chatterbait trailer and my jig. So I'm trying to be economical. And I'm these little like Z-Man mini crawls are really small. That's my only problem with them is how small they are. But that might actually work perfect for that little jig that I have. So they're all the same color though. That's the only problem. I need like a dark color. Here we go. Mud bug. Yeah, that might work. That's $3.99, so that's four bucks. So now we're officially up to 20. So I, I only have enough money now for like hooks and weights, Norm. That I'm up to 20 bucks. I got five dollars to get hooks and maybe weights. So yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not doing too hot. <laughs> so geez. Man, I mean, we're just gonna have to go with these. I can't believe I didn't know how much cheaper H2 Express hooks are than Gamagatsu, Norm. Yeah. Because, I mean, I love Gamagatsu, but they're like three, four bucks. H2 Express, $1.49. There's some three aught Superlock EWG. I mean, that's, I can use that for anything that I have. So, uh, yeah, that's $21.5. Let's see if I can find some dang weights for the rest Ooh. of my 350. Norm actually found these weights over here. Look at that. 3 16th ounce. You guys know that's my jam. $1.49. I'm still like a dollar under budget. How about them apples? Boop. Norm actually just made a really good point. You know, hopefully we stay within budget, but I hopefully, think I'm we, under but hopefully we even had a budget to begin with. We yeah. still don't even know how much was on the card, so uh, we're going to have to see right now. But we do have our basket full of stuff, so it's time to check out. Norm, I hope the prices that we were looking at were accurate prices. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, oh, that's everything. Is that everything? Awesome. Great. Right, we made it. We made it under budget. If this is in fact $50, I don't even really know. $21.626. How much was on there? $25. Oh, they got me with the $25. <laughs> Well, burn on me because I thought that the gift card was for fifty dollars. I don't know what was going on. I don't know why I thought that because it didn't say on the card anywhere Thanks how much money was on it. So basically, I bought Norm's twenty-five dollars <laughs> out of my pocket. But uh, anyways, that doesn't even matter because if it had been a fifty-dollar gift card, we came in four dollars under budget. So we yep. maybe even could have slu like snuck some tungsten weights in there. I don't even know. But anyways. The deal has been done. Now, part one is complete. Now we have to go out and fish with this stuff and see who can catch either the, the most or the biggest fish. I don't even know if we ever even agreed You're on going that. going down, no matter but, what uh, it is, I'm catching the most and the biggest. This guy's no not question. gonna, he's not gonna get $25 out of my wallet and beat me in a fishing <laughs> challenge in the same day. So uh, yeah, let's head out to the water. I'll sh we'll show you guys really quickly what all we got and we're gonna get straight to fishing. Let's go. Bro, see, look, look at his strategy. See, his strategy is to, to break, break as much of my stuff as possible. All right, let's dump this stuff out real quick. All right, you're in charge of dumping. Oh my God, everything's on the ground. Oh. That's my. All right, so uh, yeah, that's what Norm's got. Got uh, lizard, swim bait, crank bait, hooks, weights, crank bait, jig, jig trailer, chatter bait, worm, hooks, weights. Yeah, so that's. Very exciting YouTube TV right here, dumping baits out onto a <laughs> tailgate, but that's what we're working with. What are you gonna start with, Norm? I'm gonna start with the, I'm probably gonna start with these swim baits right here, yeah. with the jig head hooks heads. that I have right here. That's not a bad idea. Start with moving, if it doesn't work, we're gonna go with the lizard. Yeah, bait. I think I'm gonna rig up my chatter bait, or the square bill, one of the two moving baits, and then I'm gonna have like a weightless trick worm as well. So, we don't have much time, dude. We got two hours, so it's time to make it happen. Yeah. Norm's trying to get a head start on me out here. So basically what I did, got my little chatterbait right there with my crawl trailer. Then I have my little jig with that small trailer right there, a little micro jig. Then I have my weightless Magnum finesse worm. So if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of going with the finesse tactique, but that's just because it's hot, the sun's up, and I just don't know if these guys are gonna munch a moving bait. I hope they do. There we go. Oh no you didn't. Yes. Oh no you didn't. Yes. Did. Oh my Come on. Goodness. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, that's all right. That that's counts. that's got to count though. It was on the bank. Yeah. It was on a chatterbait. Well, I, as I'm sitting here saying that they're not going to eat the chatterbait, they eat the freaking chatterbait. Brown. Oh, that's going to get that's going to get freaking yeah, smoked. Yeah. Oh yeah. Literally right when you said it. Oh yeah. Oh, Norm. Got him. Got him, Dude. Got him. got him. It's not a big one. Norm. Norm comes right behind me and ties the game up off yeah. the dock. Whoa! Oh God, Ant, Ant, Ant Hill. I should have never underestimated the power of a good chatterbait. That's what I should not have done. Oh, Norm's got another one. I got him. Right off the top of the dock. Well, I'm gonna do exactly what you did last time. I'm gonna follow you up with another cast out there. All right, come on. 
Oh my gosh. Freaking. Oh man. No, you didn't. All right. oh, tied the game up, boys. He's feisty. Look how feisty that bass is. That joker doesn't even understand how small he is. That's a good sign when they think that they're big. Okay, little guy, but still tie the game up. If we're going for numbers, I don't know what we're going for here. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put my my chatterbait down for a minute while you're moving bait stuck in a tree. I'm gonna throw throw some finessey stuff a little bit. He's a bird's nest throwing, swim bait snagging, silly guy. Yeah. Oh my God, I chunked that freaking weightless worm into the dang tree. Whoa, there's one, oh man. Oh, had him. Dude, I had one, he was running a marathon. He was running, he was halfway out to the middle by the time I took my slack out. Good Lord. I gotta get back in there. Oh, another one's got mine right now. Oh, he came off. Jeez. Get over here in the shade. That will be juice delicious. Oh my God, that's a fish. I mean, I'm in the shade and there's only a little bit of shade on this entire pond. Oh, there's another one. Better one, better one. Well, better. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. He felt a lot bigger. Fought super hard. Fought super hard. Got a mouthful of dirt. So, just switch it up to his. It's a really pretty fish. Finesse worm. Yeah, beautiful colors on that one. Magnum finesse worm. Isn't that just a weird term? Like a contradiction in terms? Magnum being big, finesse worm meaning small. But I figured out the reason why they call it that. The worm itself is still a finesse worm, but it's really fat, as you can see. So, there you go. That's what we're working with here. Get him. Oh, Norm's got him. Oh, I got another one too. No way. Double up. Oh, that's crazy. Double up. Oh. This one I thought I tied it up. Negative. Nice though. Nice. All right. I got him out nice and clean. He's good. Four to three there, Norman. These bites have just been incredible, guys. They've been the most subtle. I mean, just, I'm not feeling anything. All I'm feeling is taking out slack and something running with it. It's just crazy. I'm about to have you right here because I'm about to get in this grass. Oh man, I cast it up onto the grass and pulled it off. Oh man. Oh. No. Sure do. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that's how they've all been. They've all like taken off. This is the smallest one by far. Look, I got them underneath the chin. Look at that. That one doesn't count. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, he counts. He ate it. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. If I had an aquarium, that's a beautiful little aquarium bass right there. Trying to eat a big old magnum finesse worm, trying to get bigger. Norm's trying to get out there in that deep water and pull Mr. Oh! Oh, you should have let him eat it. Them jokers are straight munching out there. I'm about to drag my jig out there and catch freaking Big Bertha. <laughs> He's not big, but we go. I think I think we make it a numbers game, but the tiebreaker is like the biggest bass. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. I agree with you. All right, I'm catching up, Lloyd Joe. I know. I put the I put the weightless worm down because I kind of felt like I had a comfortable lead, and now I'm over here like getting a little worried. So one. I'm like trying to jig for a big one, you know? Yeah. I don't blame. Oh, Norm, you got to get him in. This is the tie. Okay. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Five, game. five to five. We've got ten fish out here. I know, man. We're freaking slaying. Lojo was saying we were coming here. He's like, here. I just didn't know the weather. It's so hot, you yeah. know? You know, you're out here with me. It's Ooh. it's hot, man. Overall weight. Oh, right when you say it, man. I, oh my. The, the lizard fish is gone. <laughs> the lizard Stop. fish. Stop. <laughs> Stop. It's a community fish. So you caught the biggest fish, but you also caught the smallest fish. <laughs> we never said anything. Oh, there he is. Yes, there I is. You. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's a decent little fish. Oh my 
Oh God, I'm in the tree. No way. That's the biggest fish. <laughs> well, not quite, but. Well, just caught my fish that I missed, guys. Well, we don't know that. Oh, we know it. Look, he's in the side of the face. That's weird. How did that happen? Nice little healthy, another good looking fish. Eee, so now I'm taking a one fish lead, right? Yes, it's your Well, I mean, hey, I'm just in it to win it. <laughs> Call me a cheater all you want, but I'm a cheater with more points. And get it off. Oh, something's got my dang jig. I'll be darned. Yep. <laughs> And yanked it right out of his mouth. Drag slips, you gotta love them, right? Not even a drag slip, it's just way too loose for a jig. Let's tighten that drag up just a smidgen. Dang it. On my way out. Oh, I just got, I just got hit. Oh no! Oh no, he came on! To tie the game! That was my tie. I'll catch him for you, buddy. No, don't you dare. Look, dude, I got right on top of where you... Don't dude, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. dude, dude, I can't even believe I casted that far. I got it, like, right on top of I where you were. That's incredible. I'm just, I'm just, like, shocked at my own cast. Oh, there he is. You got him? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I knew you'd be mad, though. Uh, you yanked my yanker there. <laughs> you got to get the yeet in there. Well, this is my last cast, too. Yeet! Ah! Ooh, I might have a fish on there though. Oh my gosh. Well, my you wanted to keep on fishing. Oh. Water ski him! Water ski him! <laughs> well, how's, that, how's that make you feel there, Norm? I, this was your tying ball game fish right here. You just couldn't find him. He just didn't want the swim bait. He wanted the worm. I didn't buy worms. I bought swim baits and lizards, which, up, oh, and my camera died. Kaboom. Woo, let's go home, dude. <laughs> let's go home. Or let's drink two gallons of liquid first and then go home. Oh my God, guys. I wish that you could feel how hot it is through the cameras that we use today, because I don't think that- I'm dying. I don't think we could say enough to do it justice about how hot it is. I mean, it's only like May the 1st. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but this, yeah. is, this was filmed on May the 1st and it's like 92 degrees and it's it's in the south it's humid we've got bugs we've got bass that don't want to be in that hot air so they go hide but all in all we had a great day and by we i mean me because i dropped oh, the, I dropped the old l on old norm let just put it right on his head wow, right there hurts, man. i took the dub but you know it was only right that i took the dub because if you guys remember I ended up having to buy Norm's lures out of my pocket, basically, because I, 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 <laughs> I thought there was more money on that gift card than there actually was. But you know what? We had a whole lot of fun. We're going to continue to film together, make videos like this. Yes. As always, guys, get in the comment section. Give us ideas. We truly, I say we, go check out his channel, too. I'll put the link in the description. But me, him, Kicking Their Bass TV, Noah, we're going to be doing a lot of filming this summer. And we want to hear your ideas because every now and again, we're going we're to be going through the comments like we do all the time. I read as many comments as I possibly can on a daily basis. And if there's one or two that really stand out to me, like really good ideas, I write it down in a big book. I have this big book of ideas that subscribers suggested. So make sure you do that. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, you need to do so. It's 100% free. It's a button right below the video. It says subscribe, hit it, make it turn gray. Join the Lojo Fishing fam. Turn the bell notification on. That way you don't miss out on all the giveaways that we do on my channel. I just did one where I gave away a spinning rod and reel combo. So you don't want to miss out on stuff like that. Anyways, guys, I took the dub, so remember you're on the winning team over here at the Lojo Fishing mm -hmm. Fam. So, you know, you can go check out the uh... subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we are getting out of here on to the next fishing adventure. Fist bump, I am out.